wanted to do a product review of the Herman Miller Aeron office chair. Not exactly a tech product I know, but I do think it's somewhat tech related as it's helpful for anyone used to having to sit in front of their computer all day. So this is my review of the world renowned Aeron chair. I've owned this chair for six months now and decided it was time to give it a proper review. So I was initially in the market for a new chair earlier this year because the chair I was using was giving me a lot of problems with my right knee or I couldn't hardly sit in front of my computer for more than about 40 minutes at a time before my right knee started getting stiff and just uncomfortable and had to get up and walk around, breaking up my work routine. My old chair was just one of those standard executive type fake leather chairs you get from any office supply store. I think I spent around 150 bucks on it at the time. Less than six months after using it, the quote unquote leather on the armrest started to crack and develop these ridiculously sharp edges. So that, along with my knee pain, forced me to begin to shop for a new chair. Having tried an Aeron chair several years ago in a store, it didn't strike me as particularly comfortable when I sat in it for the few minutes I was there. And I didn't understand its extreme popularity of being so widely used in places like software company, music studios, and other locations where people tend to sit for hours on end. It didn't have the typical comfy plush feeling you get from an oversized executive style chair. But it is one of the best selling, most popular office slash desk chairs of all time. So I figured there had to be a reason for that and decided to give it a proper tryout. A new Aeron chair fully optioned out can cost over 1200 bucks, which initially seems like a lot of money for a chair, and it is. But if you consider that you probably spend as much time in your chair as you do your mattress, the price kind of comes into perspective. A good quality mattress that will last you 10 years or more will typically run you about the same price. At least this was the way I looked at it. However, you can typically find a good quality used Aeron chair with all the good options on Craigslist for around 400 to 450 bucks, and that's exactly what I did. Aeron chairs come with a really long 12 year warranty, although getting warranty work without an original proof of purchase can be a hit or miss with a used chair. But you can check the manufacturing date of a used one on anyone you're looking at by looking at the sticker on the bottom front side of the seat. I suggest getting one that is 7 years old or less as there have been slight revisions to some internal parts from plastic to metal that tend to break down in older models. You also want to make sure that there are no snags or tears in the fabric. Also depending on your body size, there are three different sizes available with the Aerons. There's size A, size B, and size C, C being the largest. You can tell what size it is by reaching under the back side and feeling the number of small dots on the plastic. One being A size, two B, and three, being, three dots being C. The chair uses a breathable mesh style fabric on the seat and back instead of the typical foam padding that most chairs use. And it's nice because it's very supportive while not creating any pressure points on your body which helps increase circulation. To describe how it feels, I'd say it kind of feels a little like sitting on a mesh trampoline but without the bounce, with just some slight give to it. It's actually very very comfortable over long periods of time and almost just kind of feels like you're sitting on air, kind of like on a, in a suspended state which is really nice in my opinion. There are also a lot of different adjustments on the seat that can help you get that perfect seating position. Leather armrests which are independently adjustable 4 inches vertically as well as being able to pivot outward and inwardly at 3 different settings. Here's just a quick demonstration of the tilt limiter which is just this uh, switch back here. So here's the fully locked upright position and then if you move it one notch down you can actually lock it right there so it doesn't recline all the way back and then if you want to go full recline it's like that. It's a little bit hard to see, but at the full recline, you get a little bit of a bounce at the very, um, at the full tilt range. So the other thing here too is you have the seat tilt adjustment. Well, a lot of the chairs don't have it, but uh, mine luckily does. And I do think it's kind of nice because what you can do is uh, if you're leaned all the way back, you just flip it down and it locks it from the seat kind of tilting forward. If you notice that here, and it's not a huge amount of forward tilt, but if you just lean back and unlock it, you can kind of see how it allows you to come forward a little bit. It's a little bit springy forward. It's only a five degree amount of tilt, but it's nice if you're kind of leaning towards your desk. I'll show you the other way here. It doesn't lock you in place. So if you tend to lean forward or you're trying to focus on something towards your computer, it's kind of nice to have. So here, I'll just show you the lock position one more time. You can see, and then it's just another added flexibility. Now, just like most other chairs, you have the ability to go up and down, you know, so that's not a real big surprise. And so seat adjustment, and then also you can adjust the tilt tension of the back. So I told you how that has the tilt lock when you lean back. 
so you don't have to, so you can kind of lock it in the middle. This thing turns forever actually. That's pretty tight right there. So you can see that there. Pretty much lean back, it just barely reclines. If you want, if you didn't want to recline, you just lock it. So here I wanted to show you the full upright position, which is where the seat's tilt, seat is able to tilt forward a little bit, and then the back there's no tilt, the tilt lock is in place. So it does kind of rock forward and then back to the bump stop, which is fine. So if you want to sit perfectly upright, you just have it like this, and then you have the posture or the lumbar support in the back, so it feels very comfortable if you're doing long-term typing like this. Some, you might, I don't know if people game like this, I, I definitely don't game straight up right. Um, but if you just want to be locked in with really good ergonomics, this is the way to do it. I don't actually prefer it that way. I actually obviously like it pretty loose. So I'm going to go ahead and unloosen this all the way real quick. Alright, so that's uh, <laughs> unlocked all the way, sweating a little bit. It's a lot of cranks, so there's a lot of variability in the, uh, in the knob there. So when I have the, uh, the tilt tension knob loosened all the way, I just kind of want to show you and demonstrate how far back it leans. So you can see it leans back pretty dang far, which is really nice. And I don't have it completely on the full maximum because I like it a, a little bit uh, to leave a little bit left in the setting there. And what that does is it lets the spring keep com uh, stay compressed without actually hitting the full hard stop in, in the back, if that makes sense. Um, you guys probably don't care about that, but it allows you to be able to rock kind of nice when you're leaned back so that's that's a really cool way to have it and then also just so you can see how far it leans back you know if you want to keep your feet up on on the desk you can easily do that and still be comfortable if you're just watching or reading something on your computer you know or you can kind of do it the other way look outside or in, out the window in my case so it just makes it really comfortable and you can see there it leans back really a really good distance now for normal computing or using the computer or when I'm gaming, I put it in that middle setting. So a lot of chairs don't really have that three-way um, tilt lock feature. So being right in the middle here is is a good is like a good midway point to just be able to work on the computer and game. So you can see it's still pretty comfortable. And then if you want to really get focused in, all you have to do is you just lock it in its full upright position. And then in that in that position, you can see it's like really ergonomic. You're really erect back and if you're typing, it just puts you in a really nice position to get locked in, or if you're a big coder or something like that, it really works well. So that three, you know, that tilt lock mechanism is really nice on this chair. It's a nice feature to have. So I just kind of wanted to let you know how much variability there is on the uh, on that on that part. So here's the lumbar support uh, pad in the back, and it just kind of slides up and down uh, and presses through the mesh fabric. Kind of feel it in your back, giving you support. It's just like a firm um, foam pad. And you can see there's two sides here. You got a thick side here and then a thinner side. So if you put the thinner side, it's not going to give you as much support. I like to have it on the thick, but you can uh, flip that around so it's a couple different options. And then you just slide this up and down however you want it. Obviously up here is not going to do anything way up on the middle of your back. And it's not the easiest thing to really push up and down, but once you get it set, you don't really worry about it too much. So I just pretty much have it set down low and like I say, it just kind of supports and helps me in my lower part of the back. One other thing to note is on the seat pan, on the front of the seat pan you can see it kind of slopes off here, kind of slopes downward and I think this is one of the main reasons that it helped me resolve my knee problems is because it doesn't cut off circulation on the bottom of your thighs and it just makes the front of the, the seat just a lot more comfortable. There's also a thick pad in the front about three inches so that makes it just um, nice and soft up front so it's just really, it's really uh, designed well there in the front. And the other thing I wanted to mention is the one kind of drawback of this chair I'd say is not even that big of a deal is on the bottom part of the the chair on all, by all the mechanisms and stuff you see a lot of dust collect and that's basically because everything falls through the mesh fabric on the seat obviously you know when you shed skin and stuff and just dust accumulates on your chair and the air just falls through all the mesh and kind of collects on the bottom here so you just got to keep it wiped once in a while or blow it with some air and then uh, clear it out but yeah that's really the only drawback it's kind of it gets kind of dirty down there, but not that big of a deal if you just keep it wiped. I debated between the Aeron chair, a Herman Miller and body chair, which I had issues with the armrest and had, and had to return it, and the popular gamer's choice, the DX Racer set series of chairs. I never ended up trying out the DX Racer personally, but they do get a lot of great reviews, and it's probably a really good computer chair. I just felt the style was a little too ricerish for my taste, at least when compared to the Aeron. So that's kind of my review on the Aeron chair. I hope you guys enjoyed it and wasn't rambling too much. 
you know, if you have any kind of back pain or suffer any kind of issues from sitting at your desk all day, I really suggest trying the Aeron chair. It totally relieved my knee problems. And I expect to have this chair for a lot of years without having any issues. And if I do, it's I'm just going to buy a brand new one. I'll never buy a different chair again or maybe just find another used one. If you want the best, I would suggest getting an Aeron chair. I don't think you can beat it. And they're just built rock solid. Everything is kind of metal on it for the most part. And even the parts that are plastic, I think they're like a composite plastic. You can't even really tell the difference between that and, and some of the metal parts. It just seems super, super sturdy. So I'm really happy with it. I got no more issues like I mentioned. Um, I can sit in it for hours on end. So if you're kind of looking for the best chair you can get, one that's going to really last forever, I definitely recommend looking at the Aeron. But that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. That helps out. And uh, you guys take care. Thanks a lot for watching.